New at 10, Benjamin Galt was known for researching birds. Today, there's even a bird sanctuary named after him in his hometown of Glen Ellen. But films that he recorded some hundred years ago are getting a new life and providing a history lesson to much more than just birds. Our Charlie DeMar has the story. So we've got the name of the bird, where was it seen? Benjamin Galt, a bird enthusiast from Glen Ellen, known formally as an ornithologist, kept meticulous field observations and notes of the birds he came across. He was fascinated by birds, and he was highly organized and methodical in his study. Galt also collected bird specimens. So we have a red-tailed hawk. His expansive collection is now in the hands of Don Roberts, the senior director of collections for the Chicago Academy of Sciences Peggy Notabart Nature Museum. Well, this is where we store the Galt films. Among Galt's collection are 23 silent films that will soon have an encore. I am so excited about this project. We are having these uh, digitally copied and then fully digitally restored. Most of the silent films are from Galt's travels to Ireland from 1925 to 1927. Along with birds, he also filmed everyday life, giving a rare glimpse of Ireland at the time through the lens of an American, from dancing to farming, even a dog with a pipe in its mouth. All of that has been trapped in these films for so long, and now we're finally being able to tap into it and see things almost from 100 years ago. With the help from the Irish Film Institute and the San Francisco Silent Film Festival to fund the project, Roberts hopes once fully restored, people will watch the 35 minutes of film and help enrich the storylines by identifying places, events, and even family members. And sharing that history as well as preserving it is, those are some strong mandates. Charlie DeMar, CBS2 News.